Hey guys, Mark here with the first look at the Rambo Electronics by Ultimate Machine. Uh, I just upgraded from a from the ramps 1.4. Uh, I really like this ramps. Um, since the since the first rev, uh, this thing has really came a long way. Uh, it's great. It's cons it's small and factor. Um, you know, with the with the mega on bottom. Um, but here's the new electronics. It's an all-in-one board by Ultimate Machine. That is amazing. Um, if you can start with the top of the connector, right here, it's actually um, a connector that separates the motor, um, the MOSFETs, uh, as well as the heated bed, all into three different, um, three different, three different circuits to isolate the power. Um, I found that the uh, old Xbox power supply, if you cut it, it actually has three ground and three 12 volt plugs um, so it's a perfect it's a perfect plug-in um, for an easy cheap way um, with good clean power to power your new Rambo electronics um, some of the features that I really like about it um, now he's actually included all of these plugs um, all the different MOSFET plugs for uh, your fan your extruder your fan your extruder um, heated bed as well as down here, I don't know if you can see, but you have your three pin plugs that are now the new locking plugs. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lock on it. So now you will never have wires coming undone um, while you're trying to print. And that's a great add-on. Um, if you can see over in the over the motor drivers as well, um, they do have the four pin plugs that are very similar, that are exactly the same, but four to this locking uh, plug, this is a three, um, and that's awesome. Um, great features about this board right off, right, right out of the box, is that you can run dual extruders um, as well as a Prusa-like uh, Z-axis because there's actually two plugs uh, to run both motors. Um, I've just been running this machine now, or this electronics now, for probably under five hours. Um, transition from the old electronics to the new ones. Um, in the kit does come the plugs, uh, so you actually can make the locking connectors. So I cut those off, repin them. Um, as well as the kit, you have uh, options for your optical or trigger switches. I'm running optical because my Mendel is the first first Mendel. Um, it also comes with all your other wires, so it's going to be an easy transition upgrade, uh, first time. Uh, rip wrap maker um, to get it going. So if we can come over here, um, also something different about this electronics is I'm gonna go back to this one. If you guys have ever played with these potentiometers here, uh, as you know, these are the Palulu's uh, stepper driver boards that uh, that have a tendency to skip on you. Um, these are set at 16 steps, um, and actually the new electronics is only set at eight. And I have not seen a difference at all in print quality. Um, 16, you were getting about 3,000 steps for revolution around the motor. Um, now you're getting 1,000. And that's way overkill for what we're even trying to do. But you're still getting that micron accuracy. Um, and actually using less steps. And the stepper drivers don't get as hot. Um, so as you can see, I think I have one heat sink uh, on the Z motor or on the extruder motor. That's not necessary. I put it on to try to see um, if you would get actually a faster push through it. Um, and I've not seen a difference with or without a heat sink on the chips. Uh, this is a, a four layer board. So a lot of the heat from the, from the chips are pulled away. Um, one other really nice thing that I've seen on this is you can see that there are lights, the red, red lights right here. And that indicates um, which connectors are on. So right now my fan, my extruder, and my heated bed, they're, they're all on. So it's a very quick way to look at electronics and see, uh, to see what's on and what's running. Um, so here, let's go over my print real quick. I'm printing some twisted bottles, and they are going great. Um, I doubled the size just to see how big I could print. Um, but the print quality right now, um, I'm very happy with. It's smooth. Um, no bubbles, no rifts, um, and I'm, now I'm running the new Slicer software as well. I bet a lot of you guys are running this. Um, this software um, is the new one. 
uh, Slicer. I don't know which one this is. It's the newest one out there right now. Um, and this one was... Uh, this one has some great features that you can turn on and off the fan easily um, and send the codes over to these electronics. So, easy plug and play. I absolutely love it. And we'll go over and we'll just show you the printer a little bit and just showing what I'm pushing. Um, and this is actually my my own design for my extruder. This is a direct drive using a MakerBot uh, uh, a MakerBot extruder um, gear uh, with a direct drive. And I'm running 1.75 Ulti Machine Red. If you can see, it looks great. Um, print layers right now, I'm, I'm printing at 0.2. I have been able to push this, this electronic package to 0.1 without a problem. I would not see a problem printing uh, 50 microns if you wanted to. Uh, but you can get down to very, very high detail, high accuracy. Uh, with this extruder or with this new electronics um, and with any 3D printer if you have it calibrated and tuned in right. I um, hope you guys like that. Please post uh, if you have any questions about these new electronics. Um, but by far, this is a great package. Um, if you're looking at upgrades, you can use your old electronics for maybe a CNC machine. Um, this also has uh, an amp, uh, a way to regulate the amps that's pushing out. It can push up to two amps, I think, right now. Um, so you have to go into the electron or under the Rambo wiki um, and, and you will actually will be able to find out how you can upgrade your amps. Uh, but I think I've set mine at 1.5 right now. Um, so these electronics right here, I can definitely see in the future uh, running a, a CNC machine on it. Um, you know, anything that actually needs uh, some amperage behind the stepper motors, behind 17s or 23s. This is a really powerful package of saw or electronics that will be around for a while. Highly suggested. Great electronics. Uh, please post if you guys, if you guys got any questions. Have a good day.